ADOS family. I'm going to play brief audio of Bob Johnson's call for reparations. Now, it was shocking because a lot of his previous business dealings and business behavior was very shady. And I don't co-sign any of that shit. But reparations is the only solution for ADOS. And if you don't believe that the new black media has influenced this, that we're powerful and effective, you're wrong. We're influencing American politics. We're influencing the political discourse. We're influencing not only politicians, but business leaders to talk about reparations in the American political system. So I'm going to go ahead and cue this up and I'll be back with brief commentary. Short answers to long, horrific questions about the stain of slavery are not going to solve the inequality problem. We need to focus on wealth creation and wealth generation. And to do that, we must bring, bring the descendants of slaves into equality with this nation and that's what I propose in this $14 trillion uh, proposal to provide reparations not only for the sin or the atonement of the sin of slavery and Jim Crowism and, and desegregation both de facto and de jure but to cause America to live up to the concept and the notion that this nation was born on the idea of American exceptionalism. And if we take that big leap, I am convinced that the problems that we confront today can be solved, but it takes a big, bold action and $14 trillion in reparation for damages visited upon the, the uh, heirs of slaves is an appropriate statement. Bob Howard, uh, and this is, we've spoken many times, I don't think you've ever embraced uh, such a, a radical idea, and this is new for you, and I've seen it put forward before, uh, and, and not taken to, to, in, to all the way to mainstream thinking, and I think that you're embracing it is probably going to get a lot of people talking about this. How would, where would the 14 trillion come from? I mean, lately, we've we've been thinking we could do 3 trillion here, 3 trillion there. This would be through uh, some type of wealth transfer from, from the haves to uh, from people that have the money, the, the wealthy individuals. Where would that 14 trillion come from? Well, um, let me just say on the contrary, I put out this statement uh, on, it's on my website, I've been on my website, since 2019 really? about the need for this reparation. So I'm, I'm not new to this, this challenge. But to the point you're making is that wealth transfer is exactly what's needed. Think about this. For 200 plus years or so of slavery, labor taken with no compensation is a wealth transfer. Denial of access to education, which is a primary driver to accumulation of, of income and wealth is a wealth transfer. The housing uh, program that we in all in America believe in, that your house is your, your home is your castle, and therefore the government has historically subsidized mortgage lending by allowing you to deduct it from your taxes. But think of this, African Americans with no accumulation of wealth cannot afford to meet the down payments of home ownership, and therefore they live in apartments and where there is no deductibility for the interest they pay on their lease, for the income they pay on their lease. That's why today, African-Americans are about 40% of home ownership. White Americans are 70 plus percent of home ownership. When you put all of these factors together, lack of access to education, lack of access to home ownership, the primary source of wealth for most middle income Americans, and discrimination, 
you have had for the past 200 years in effect a wealth transfer from white Americans away from African Americans. ADOS family, Bob Johnson articulated that extremely well. And his number of 14 trillion is a good starting point of negotiation. We're owed more than that, I believe. And notice how the cracker that was interviewing him said that it's a radical idea, like, sort of like Bernie Sanders calling reparations divisive. You know, even though he supported reparations for the fake Jews, he called it divisive. So you notice how they call, call it names instead of anything but justice. Because this white American devil does not want ADOS black Americans to be economically equal with them. They don't mind social equality or, and we don't even get that, but they don't mind social integration. You go into church with them, you uh, go into school with them, etc. But they don't want black people to be on equal footing with them. That's what this is all about. It's about white privilege. It's about unearned, unmerited wealth and oppression. That's what this country was built on. And see, Bob Johnson, I'm suspicious of his motives, is on the right track with this. And I'm glad that he presented this. And we need more black, we need black celebrities on board to push this through. Because reparations is the only solution to ADOS. And what this white devil doesn't realize is, is if you pay reparations, it will boost the American economy. It will increase American gross domestic product or GDP. It will make the country richer and better when the country is equal. But these white devils are so racist that they won't acknowledge the fact that they owe us. So all our simple message, our simple message is this, cut the damn check. And we're going to get reparations, whether you like it or not, we're going to get it. And that's plain and goddamn simple. But let me know what you think. Make sure you drop a comment. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you for your support. And thank you for allowing me to share my views. Have a great day.